In today's video, I am going to show you how you can create a neon and futuristic end screen here in Filmora. Before we proceed, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any video in the future. First, let's go to the media tab. You will see that I am importing some files for this video. But feel free to import the files you want to use in your end screen related to your brand. In this case, I just want to use a specific scene from this video. To do that, I will click here to create a mark at the beginning and the ending of the exact scene I want to use. Once you are ready, let's drag the scene onto the first track. Now, let's move to the Titles tab and search Subscribe. You will see a lot of engagement icons that you can use for any social media videos. For me, I will select this one related to YouTube and I will drag it onto the second track. Then, I will look for another text, so let's search end screen, and you will see different colorful templates that you can use to have a creative ending. For me, I will select this one and drag it onto the second track. Also, I will drag more end screen templates for you to see the different styles Filmora can offer you, but this time I will use just the first one because it is more related to the pink color of my brand. Then, I will select and drag the rest of the videos I have imported to the third and fourth tracks. Once I am ready, I will double-click on it to adjust the transform settings by dragging them on the preview window to match with the spaces of the previous and next videos from the end screen template accordingly. Then, I will take a screenshot of the first video You will see the photo I will save on the media tab, and I will use it in the profile photo space on the end screen template. To adjust the photo on a circle, I will go to the effects tabs and look for the image mask to drag it onto the photo. You will see a circle will appear on the photo, but I still have to adjust it to the circle of the template. To do that, let's double click on the track and you will see the transform settings being extended. Here I have to look for the image mask options to adjust the shape of the circle to the size I need. Once I am ready, let's adjust the position on the preview window in the exact space I need it. Then, let's add some final details, so go to the effects tab and search for custom LUT. I will use this one and drag it onto the fourth track. Also, I will move to the Transitions tab and Search Shop. I will select this one and add it between the custom LUT effects I have cut to make the transition go better hiding all the clips when the effect is playing. Now, don't forget to add your information to the YouTube text. To do that, double-click on it and modify the information in the text settings. And there you have it, a neon and futuristic end screen for your videos is done. If you would like to recreate this, you can simply click Import Template at the bottom left of the video in Filmora Creator Academy to get the project files and replace the default media with your clips. If you would like to learn more about video editing, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to stay updated when we upload new videos in the future. Do check out other tutorials on this channel and comment below to let us know what you would like to learn next. Till next time, stay creative with Filmora.